Bro. Give me Zephaniah chapter 2 and verse 1. That's the only way that we can get out of the conditions that we in, sis. Bro. I hate it here in America. Bro. Bro. I hate seeing my people in the condition that they're in. Bro. 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 Right? We are asleep as a people to, to a point to where we cannot see how destroyed we actually are. Right? 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 Our people are in a dead asleep right now. Read. The book of Zephaniah, chapter 2 and verse 1. Uh, gather yourselves together. My sister, can I, can I gather together with a thief? No, I can't do business with a thief. He gonna steal all the damn money that we making. Right. Can I gather together with a murderer? No, I can't gather together with no murderer. Because why? He might take my life. Right. Right? He doesn't believe in life. What we're teaching you right now, sister, is the book of life. Right. This is the way that we get our communities together. Right. This yes, is right. the way that we're going to gather ourselves together. I can't gather with a thief, a murderer, an adulterer. Wake so guess what? We got to stop doing these things, my sister. Right. And it's going to start with you. That's why we are here. For one, we got ourselves together. First, individually, and then we gathered ourselves together to come out here and teach our, uh, teach our people how to gather themselves together. Right. right? Read that from the top. Gather yourselves together. Yay. Gather together. Uh -huh. Oh, nation. Oh, what? Oh, nation. The Bible calls us a nation of people. We are not a nation of people in America. Right. Right now, we are niggas. Right now we are we are black. Right now we are African American. Right now we're Puerto Ricans. Right now we're Dominicans, Cubans, uh, uh, all sorts of evil things that the that these nations put names on us to be. Work them up, right? But God calls us the Israelites, and God says the Israelites must gather themselves together, right? That's right. Right, 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 as one nation of people, and we cannot do it by committing all sorts of wickedness that you see in our neighborhoods. Right. So guess what, my sister, we're going to give you a job right now. What you can do is repent, right? By doing what? By doing what? What's the commandment that you've received today the entire time? I want to make sure that you're tracking. What should a woman wear? What's her attire? What, what should God identify you as when he sees his baby, when he looked down on earth? Oh yeah, that's an Israelite woman. That's my child. What should you be wearing? Huh? A skirt. That's right, my sister. Now, guess what? What you just did was you just gathered yourself together right there. We're together on that on that page right there. Right. You see that? So we're in one mile. I know that a woman should be wearing a dress or a modest dress or a modest skirt. Right. Right? You understand that now. Now that you've been here dealing with us. Right? So guess what? You got to go home and you got to put put that on. You got to get rid of those pants and you got to show forth that example when you walk outside your neighborhood. Right, right. Now all the sisters should look and see this older woman. Oh, that's the example. That's how we should be. Bring it out. Right? The, the older woman should look to you. Give me that. You all right? Yes, sir. All right. You're the example in your neighborhood. This is how our people rise up. It starts by that very small thing right there. All right. Give me that. The book of Titus. Chapter 2 and verse 3. Uh -huh. That age woman likewise, uh -huh. that they be in behavior as become of holiness. God says that age woman likewise. My sister Crystal, you're an age woman. All right? You're an age woman. The Bible says these age women should what? Be, be in behavior as become of holiness. As become of holiness. You know what I want? Not false accusers. Uh -huh. Not giving too much wine. Not giving too much wine. Our women should not be out here being drunk all day. Right. All right? It's nothing wrong with sipping a little bit of strong drink, a little bit of wine. All right? After work, so on and so forth. Right? But our women should not be over here drunk on the corners. Right. Drunk on the damn corner. You got women and children you should be taking. Uh, you, got, you got young children you should be taking care of. Right. Right? Keepers at home. Right? How you got how you got women out here in the hood stressed out that they look dead out here, out here walking drunk. That is not a modest woman. Right. That is not a modest woman. Read. Teachers of good things. Teachers of good things. It is up to the woman to teach these good things. Right? After they learn from their husbands. After they learn from a righteous man. Right. The teachers of the good things are the laws of God. Yeah, that's that's right. what our women should be teaching. All right, so my sister Crystal, you have a responsibility 
And we're telling you this because why? We love you, my sister. You have a responsibility as an aged woman, the Bible calls you, right? Because you have experience, right? If you don't mind me asking, how, about how old are you? Probably about 51. All praises to the Most High. That means you got some experience under your belt. A lot of these children can learn some things from you, all right? And what we want them to learn is some things that's taught, all the things that's taught out of the Bible that you should be reading and knowing. Right. All right? Because why? The Bible says that the women are the teachers of the children. Okay? That they may teach the younger women. The what? The younger women. Your job is to teach the younger women. Read. To be sober. To be what? To be sober. Read. To love their husbands. To love their what? Their husbands. My sister, you have to teach the younger women how to love their husbands. Our women don't know how to love their husbands today. They don't even know what the order is when it, as it relates to their husband. Right. The woman thinks that they're over the man or that they're equal to the man, which means they believe that they're over the man. Teach. Right. I, can't, I can't name a woman that has whooped another man's behind. I don't know. You tell me, what, what woman has whooped a man's behind? He can't be over a woman. The man is made to protect the woman. Right. Right, to, to be a covering to the woman, to teach the woman. Read that part again. To love their husbands. The Bible calls the women to love their husbands. My sister, you have to teach, these are your daughters, right? You have, it's your responsibility to teach these young girls how to love their husbands, not their boyfriends. Right. Right? Not their boy. they should not have boyfriends. Right. They go to public school. Yeah. They should not go to prom. Because that's where they're going to try to find a boyfriend to get pregnant. A lot of fornication happens at prom and dances. Bring it up. You see how they acting right now? They disagree with that, my sister. It's your responsibility to keep them away from these fornications. To right. keep them away from these streets. To be a drunkard on these streets. Right. To be sober-minded like the Bible says. Right. Right. Read that part again. To love their children. Uh -huh. To be discreet. Chase. Keepers at home. Keepers at home. But a lot of our women up and down these streets doing what? Fornicating. Right. All in men's faces. All in young boys' faces. Right? But it's our women's job, our, our responsibility to teach the young women. Right. right. Nation is men leading by example. Nation is community. Nation is children with role models. Nation is unity. Nation is you. Ah!